Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Drea and this is the Owl's Intuition. If you are new here, hit that subscribe and the bell so you get notified when I post some new stuff. And if it resonates, give your girl a thumbs up and comment to let me know how or why, okay? And if you want to book a reading, my email's in the description box. I will never message you for a reading, so please beware of scammers. And, you know, just take what resonates and leave the rest. Not every message may be for you. Thousands of people are watching, so keep that in mind when you're picking your readings. But my intention is always that it feels like a freaking personal. Jesus. Now my perfectionism coming through, and even though I have nothing perfect about this situation i mean it's perfectly imperfect it's fine guys anyway wow <laughs> i want to say thank you for being here and thank you to anyone who likes shares subscribes donates i appreciate all the love and the support it does not go unnoticed so thank you guys and um as you saw in the title we were talking about why are people obsessed with you right now why have people been obsessed with you why are people so fixated on you like what's going on what what is it that y'all are doing okay so we have four piles today per use you can pick more than one pile if you feel called to or you know if anything triggers you or doesn't feel like it's your story you can pick another pile watch another reading do whatever makes you happy so pile number one is the moon and stars tarot pile number two is the game of thrones tarot pile number three is the disney villains tarot and pile number four is the tridivia deck tarot also, if you are interested in getting this deck at a discounted price, the link is in the description box as well. I know someone, I feel like someone said they wanted this deck or something about this deck. All right, so I love you. Thank you for being here and I'll see you on the pile that you picked. Bye. What up, pile number one? It's your girl, Drea, and this is the Owl's Intuition. If you're new here, hit that little subscribe and the bell so you get notified when I post some new stuff. And if it resonates, give me a thumbs up and comment. Let me know how or why, okay? You have excitement coming in. I feel like the lackluster, the dullness, the same shit, different day kind of vibe. Some of y'all could have watched a video where that card was in there. I don't know why, but that's coming through. <laughs> it's like things are going to start about to start speeding up for you and new energies newness is coming in changes in your routine with this creative routine you're going to be changing certain things in your day to day you're no longer going to be procrastinating because you're taking action and building structure you're going to be improving your life on all levels so as always, uh, if you want to book a reading, my email is in the description box. I will never message you for a frick and write in, okay? And uh, keep in mind that, you know, this is a general reading. Thousands of people are watching. Not every message may be for you. So just take what resonates and leave the rest. If this triggers you or makes you upset in any way, shape, or form, you can watch another pile, watch another reading, or if it even doesn't feel like it's your story. That's why we're going to get your current energy to see if this is your pile. If this resonates, then you can watch this. If not, you know, do what you do, baby. Just do what makes you happy. Okay, pile number one's current energy. Avoid toxic people. I love that. All right, I guess we're taking four. Self-exploration. Somebody's taking off that mask. Peel off that false persona and get to know yourself and find your truth. You're going to be speaking your truth more, doing things that align with you. Maybe it's like you didn't want to do things because you felt you were going to get judged. Or maybe you were doing too much with this balance. Juggling too many things at once. Find time for yourself. I was talking about creating a routine. Wow. Self-exploration and awakening realization a realization shift or discovery literally self-exploration you're discovering your truth you're discovering what you need to let go of okay what you're discovering that maybe there are toxic people around you maybe there's boundaries that need to be set maybe you're doing too much or putting too much in a short or small period of time okay explore what makes you happy explore what works with you and then we have open up you're also going to be opening up your heart chakra grounding yourself expressing your truth not only as like you find it out for yourself but also expressing your truth to people whether it's these toxic people understanding that yo like i can't chill with you anymore okay like 
<laughs> and then it, and opening up to or spending more time with the people who do uplift you, okay? Not the people who bring you down or try to tear you down. There's emphasis on you're going to be seeing the truth about a lot. But yeah, your heart's going to be opening. You're going to be feeling like some of you guys may even be opening up to new love or refreshing your love. Some of you guys, if you're single, especially my singles, I feel like your life is... Because uh, I was talking about excitement too. So it's like, I don't know. You're cleansing your energy with this like water flowing over this person. You're cleansing your energy. You're removing toxic people. You're rebalancing yourself. You're releasing whatever was blocking you from having time for yourself. And now it's like you're going to be able to open up. You know your truth. You know what it is that you want. You allow your truth to be seen by those. Those who fuck with you, they will stick around. Those who do not mess with you, you will see that and you will avoid them at all costs. But your life is about to open up on so many levels. So many wonderful things are coming in. You're also going to be able to trust the people that are around you after you clear out whatever this toxic situation is or these toxic people. You're going to awaken and your discernment is going to be on 100 you're going to see through people like no other. You're going to let go of responsibilities that you had no business even doing. It's like people projected responsibilities or maybe, you know, you felt like you had to do it because there was no one else. When in reality, you took on a burden that isn't yours to carry. They will find someone else to do it. They'll figure something else out just as as like when someone told you no or something happened to you, you figured it out. You always did and they will too. You know, you can't help everybody. Right now you need to focus on yourself and that's what you're doing. And that's what's really going to help you propel towards an amazing life where you're just going to be able to be around people who you can open up to, people you can trust, people you can let your walls down, people you can let your hair down and have more fun. Because when you're able to be authentic and not worry about people judging you or talking shit behind your back, that's when you have more fun and you feel free okay yeah a lot of you guys may already do that regardless if you're surrounded by toxic people but then you get a lot of negativity projected onto you and then you feel lethargic you feel unhappy you feel you know just negative when in reality that's just because your authenticity triggers people and then they start projecting negativity or evil eye or shit and unconsciously or consciously onto you so yeah if that resonates at all let's get into your reading some of you guys may be connected to another pile, or you came from another pile. Hi, if you did. So, we got musician, we have inspiration, and then we have photo proof, getting evidence. Okay, why are people obsessed with you? <laughs> you could be extremely well known, okay? You could have a social media presence, or just be extremely popular and well loved, okay? You have a passion for... For life you are following your soul's purpose you are always celebrated and people really love you you're a very colorful authentic inspirational person okay and you're somebody who is dependable you're somebody who is always ready you stand on business and you know you're very intuitive you speak your truth you're very lovable but you don't let people cross your boundaries and i feel like a lot of you guys are creating something whether it's your biz a business okay so some of y'all definitely have a business and um you know you could be uh, a musician an actor actress you could be uh, also working a nine to five but also working on passion projects and stuff but there's emphasis on like you guys are creative in some way shape or form you're also extremely fun enthusiastic and people become obsessed with that because of either your talents because of Okay, some people become very passionately obsessed with you because either you're very attractive, your body, you got that charisma, you got that, you know what I'm saying? Like, people, you got celebrity energy, pa one, so that's why people become obsessed with you. You're the new age celebrity. <laughs> you see how all the celebrities who are, um inauthentic are getting shut down and stuff or like you know you are replacing that people may be becoming obsessed with you the way that people were obsessed or papara paparazzi was obsessed with people like i saw uh, a documentary today you know princess diana you know how the paparazzi was stalking her all the time taking pictures etc but she did so much good in the time that she was alive and it's like you guys i'm not saying that y'all have princess diana vibes but maybe you do okay like you you're 
a humanitarian you could have aquarius in your chart you're for the people by the people authentic as hell you see through the negativity you see through the mental constructs the the oppression the negativity and you're like nah we ain't we ain't about that life anymore fuck that shit you call that shit out you call out the frauds that's again there's this vocal energy and people become obsessed with your realness because there's not a lot of people that are real people also become obsessed with you because okay some people want to take you down because you shine so bright because you're such an inspiration because a lot of people look up to you they want proof okay maybe also people become obsessed with you because of the photos that you take the videos that you pull out put out maybe videos that people take of you or put out you know your social media could get people obsessed with this photo proof okay very interesting what else um some of you guys live a very very amazing life okay and you go to the beat of your own drum you're living your soul's purpose your life is very harmonious and people become obsessed with that some people i heard live vicariously through you others resent you or are extremely envious and they become obsessed with you because i don't know envy really draws people in because it's just somebody who doesn't understand that they can have their own you know, there's plenty, there's abundance, they, they operate out of a lack mentality, and they think that, you know, because you're happy, they don't know exactly what you went through, okay, and um, the thing is, they see your happiness, they see your life, I heard Mr. Mrs. Perfect, it's like, people become obsessed with you, because one, either they're inspired by you and want to be like you, or two, they are envious of you and want to either prove that you're a fraud, or um, copy you in some way, shape, or form so that they can live like you. But not because they want to live like you because you're happy. Because they want to live like you because they want what you get. The accolades, the people who support you and love you unconditionally, or um, the money, or the clout. It's not about like the impact that you make on people, or the service that you provide, or you know, it's not about the healing that you did, and it's not about you being authentic. They don't know who they are, so so it's like they try to copy you but you do have people you are inspiring and also people who you um have helped a lot and they depend on you so they become obsessed with you so you do have some codependent people as well yes you inspire them but also i get there's a dangerous line okay we're, we're border border like you know you know you people who love you and but they they love you in an obsessed way because they love your energy they love how you light them up you bring color to their life again vicariously living through you you bring excitement especially people who spend time with you and shit like that it's like people also become obsessed with you because um they become obsessed with the attention that they get by either knowing you, being around you. If they post a picture with you, they get a lot of attention. Or people reach out to them more like, oh shit, you're with Pal One. Or you know Pal One. Or who's that? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's very interesting energy. So let's get into your tarot. Okay, pile number one. We have the Five of Swords, Revenge, the Nine of pentacles the comfort we have um ten of cups completion king of wands passion the eight of wands speed we have the ten of wands burden some of y'all definitely could be fire signs i mean we have the king of wands so um heavy leo but you know aries and sag as well but we also have um the strength card clarifying the burdens and the speed bravery okay and then bottom of the deck we have recuperation fear fulfillment and movement six of swords nine of pentacles nine of wands i'm pretty sure yeah nine of wands and the four of swords so let's talk about this revenge okay let's talk about the elephant in the room y'all y'all are getting revenge on people not on purpose and people are obsessed with this because it's like they feel People who hurt you in the past, people you moved away from, <laughs> you're, you're like taking their breath away. Did you hear me? <gasps> okay, like it's like you're taking their breath away because it's like people attacked you, people did you dirty, people thought you was getting taken down, people thought you wasn't gonna be ish. 
And it's like you're getting your revenge, whether you're getting some type of glow up, okay? I had revenge body for some of you. Some of you guys, you're growing into your body. Some of you guys, you have changed your body in some way. You're looking more attractive, and that is like, people feel like it's like out of spite when in, it's literally like either you're healing, you're going through a certain glow up, you're just improving your health, your mind, your, your soul. You're healing. We have the Six of Swords here and the Four of sword so you are healing and your healing is reflecting in your physical reality but also energetic and also your finances as well it's like you're comfortable or you're on your way to comfort it's like money has been coming to you easy or you always have money when you need it and you're not stressed you don't stress about shit like that and your life is deemed a lot easier and I think you're getting into an ease like you guys went through you're closing out a lot of cycles when you were going through burdens where you were going through a lot where you were working a lot and I think your life is getting become it's getting becoming <laughs> it's either becoming or already is a lot more peaceful and um free flowing and comfortable and certain people who betrayed you they're mad and that's why they're obsessed with you because they want to see your downfall and they become obsessed because they want they're checking on you because they want you to be burdensome they want you to be stricken with fear they want you to go down so they it's like they want to they're set, trying to get revenge on you for some of you but others just their revenge would be like to see your downfall <sighs> in reality it's like they're kind of just propelling you forward. They're feeding you energy and um, you're getting more abundance. You're transmuting that shit, okay? You're happy. Some of you guys are in a happy relationship or you're just in a, a period of emotional fulfillment because again you have been doing the work you've been doing the shadow work you've been doing the healing you also have healing energy and that's another reason why people become obsessed with you because they don't know how to explain it and some do know that you have a healing energy but it's like people feel like really good really energized really excited blessings flow into their life when they're with you which is like why they become obsessed with that because it's like they don't know how to do that for themselves but they do know that when they're with you that shit happens so it's like they're it's like they become obsessed with the the satisfaction or the blessings that come with being in your energy okay it's like you complete them when they need to figure out how to complete themselves so that's dangerous okay you do have people that love you okay that could be you know a little uh a little dangerous with that where you need to have your boundaries and not take on anyone else's energy. Um, you also could have family obsessed with you because they see you building up your own business or becoming more abundant and more comfortable. They're obsessed with the journey. Could be vindictive as well. Doesn't matter. The, there are um, some people who are happy for you, some people who are not. And some people are obsessed that you are stepping into a period of success or that you have a comfortable life or that you have healed, that you're you're becoming more fulfilled i mean like things are your the burdens are releasing themselves from your life we have the eight of wands the ten of wands and the strength it's like you were so patient you took on so much you put in so work so much work you were so brave okay and you were still shining still improving yourself you never gave up on yourself and now it's like because of all the hard work that you put in and because of the fact that you were brave because of the fact that you surrendered a lot of your success your ten of cups your nine of cups and the nine of pentacles like a lot of success is coming in extremely fast and people don't know that you were waiting for your success for a long time that you were working for this success for a long time like you put in a lot of work this was not an overnight thing okay i heard overnight celebrity some of you guys people thought that maybe you went viral or maybe you're getting a lot of success and it just happened out of nowhere overnight when this could have been you've been working on certain things for years and you're finally getting you know the reward you're finally getting your harvest like this is not something that happened in two days you put in work okay you were working really hard and you're starting to finally get the rewards like maybe you're living more comfortably maybe you're treating yourself more maybe you're just feeling a lot more happy stable and fulfilled and these people are still operating out of fear and revenge mentality and jealousy and you have healed from that you have moved on from that you also have people obsessed with you because you moved away and they're stuck in the same negative energy that they were that caused you to move away and you have healed or your life is getting better. 
they thought your life would turn out like shitty if you moved away or because you moved away. They're like, oh, they'll get their karma for leaving me when in reality they were getting karma by choosing to stay in a connection where they either outgrew or where they were getting manipulated or abused. But yeah, you, you're extremely brave, extremely confident, extremely attractive, extremely charismatic. Some of you guys could be single and you have people obsessed with you because they want to communicate to you. So they're trying to figure out, are you single? They're trying to figure out what you like. They're trying to figure out like what it would be like to be with you. People are visualizing a relationship with you. If you are in a relationship, people are obsessed with your relationship. It, people are really obsessed with your love life, pile one. So you're definitely connected to another pile. You don't have to watch it, obviously, okay? But yeah, that's what we're going to call it, pal number one. I love you. I hope you have an amazing day, night, or whatever. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye. What's going on, pal two? It's your girl, Drea. And this is the Owl's Intuition. Pal one was very interesting. If you're new here, hit that subscribe and the bell so you get notified when I post some new stuff. And if it resonates, give me a little thumbs up, baby. Let me know how or why in the comments, okay? If you want to book a reading, my email is in the description box, but I'll never message you for a reading. We're going to get your current energy to see if this is your pile. Keep in mind, thousands of people are watching, so not every message may be for you. If this doesn't resonate, you know you can always watch another pile, watch another reading, watch another reader. Do whatever makes you happy. All right, let's get pile number two's current energy. Healing energy. Okay. Wow. Four again. We got financial goals. Okay. Then we have ritual, social media detox. Some of you guys even need to do a full moon or new moon ritual or start working with the moon cycles. You could be extremely connected to the moon. We got nutrition as well. There's a detox all over all around. You're starting your self-love journey. Okay, a lot of you guys are starting your self-love journey. One, two, three. This is strategic. This is something that you have been planning for a while. And um, I feel like you're finally ripping the band-aid off. You were like slowly but surely getting into this. Like maybe trying to save. You're like, oh, I'll start saving when I start making more money or when I get that raise. Instead, you are choosing to like maybe cut something out or, you know, just do it. Like put it first, pay yourself first or put that money first in like putting into a savings account or something like that. You're also no longer really caring about social media in regards to the aspect of you need to post every little bit about your life or you're just not worried about other people's lives. There's this emphasis on some of you guys, you do need to detox from social media and do not let it take over your life. Like, yeah, you learn a lot from social media but your timeline sometimes you know it depends on how you're feeling and yeah you can have a good laugh but there's a need for budgeting your time on either your phone your laptop watching netflix or something like that because you will be getting financially stable and financially secure you have a lot of goals and you also want to enjoy life you want to love yourself and you want to improve your habits and the way that you can is by improving your productivity prioritizing yourself creating rituals and habits that help you in regards to your mental your nutrition and your spiritual you know aspects as well because with this ritual you know the magic in life maybe doing magic or um doing spiritual practices, making moon water, cleansing, clearing, protecting, setting intentions, new moon, full moon intentions, releasing, setting, uh, burning bay leaves. There's this emphasis on that, allowing magic to come into your life or believing in magic again, or practicing, you know, more meditation, working with different crystals you know i feel like you're over life you can even magic is considered like you have a cup of coffee and you set the intention with your cup of coffee you can sprinkle some gratitude sprinkle some magic and clear and transmute the food that you eat you know there's simple things that like i do three 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 that would be like those two things and uh that is my daily dose of magic i mean yeah i do my full moon rituals new moon rituals i do my cleanses on saturdays and my you know protection work on Saturdays and stuff and also because I'm talking about that every day of the week is connected to a planet so Monday is the moon and uh, Saturday is 
um, Saturn. We have Friday, Venus, Google the rest, okay? I don't remember all them, like, off the top, but there's this emphasis on, like, if you do that, you can use astrology or, you know, certain things like that, to working with that to help you throughout your journey. Like, being aware, like, Mercury retrograde's coming up, which means it's an Aries. I need to be more patient, less impulsive, not reactive, and stuff like that. So if that resonates at all, let's get into your reading. All right, pile number two. So we have young, vitality, innovation, potential, growth. We have lost and found. And then we have looking you up, researching you, studying you, getting information. Okay. Oh, you guys, you know, you may not know what you want out of life. Some of you guys do. You look like you have your shit together. You look like you're happy, you look like you know what path you want to go down, you look like you're extremely blessed because you probably are all of those things and more. You could look younger than you are. People become obsessed with you because they want to know how do you have this vitality, how do you have this energy, how are you always changing, transforming, growing. The people who become obsessed with you, pal, too, are the people who are lost. They think that if they focus on you, study you, do research on you, get information on you, they can be found or find themselves. Because they look at you and they feel that you have found yourself. They feel like you know that you're on a, the right path. They feel like you're Google, okay? They also um, become obsessed with you because they want to pick your brain, okay? Some want to, you to be their mentor, be like a guiding light for them, okay? You are living up to your potential. And I feel like a lot of you guys live an adventurous, unconventional, very fun and exciting life, okay? You, doesn't matter how old you are, you have this vitality, this youthful energy, and it does reflect into your looks as well. So people want to know, like, uh, what wrinkle cream do you use? And you're like, nah, I don't use any wrinkle cream. They're like, what do you mean? My forehead's all wrinkly. Uh, I don't know what to tell you. Like... <laughs> You know what I'm saying? There's some type of, like, divine blessing on your looks in regards to you aging gracefully, okay? I just heard black don't crack. Oh, my God. <laughs> I mean, you ain't lying, but you know what I'm saying? It doesn't matter what race you are. It just matters that y'all are not cracking. You're youthful, okay? Some of you guys may have had adult acne, and I do... Uh, I have heard that when you have adult acne... Uh, you age better. So, shout out to you. I mean, I know we hate acne, but, you know, you're going to age way great, more graceful than um, others. But, yeah. There's definitely um, emphasis on people talk about you and um, people you may have walked away from or people who knew you when you were younger and stuff. They're talking about you and maybe they're looking you up or people are looking you up because they're talking about you. You're on your path. You know... What you want, you're moving forward and you're growing and you're living an unconventional life. There's this emphasis on like people talk about you constantly and then those who do not know you look you up because they want to know why is this person always talked about. It could be like a whole friend group that you have not hung out with anymore. And um, they're still talking about you to maybe new people and, you know, or they bring you up and then these people who don't know you in this circle, like there's a group of people talking about you, Paul Tzu, whether it's old friends, family or whoever. And the people who do not know you have to look you up and because they want to know, like, who is this person or like, uh, so you have people gassing you up, too. I don't think it's really negative for you guys. I do feel like they're talking about how much you have grown, how successful you are, how you still look young and you're radiant and you're so energetic and you have found yourself after being lost for a while. And, you know, these friends are like congratulating you or these people. So it could be friends because of the fact that I said friends. Your intuition will tell you. You'll know uh, who I'm talking about, but there is a group of people that you have left behind. I mean, I heard salty. You do have some salty people, but I do feel like some people are actually, like, very proud of you. And that's why you have others, like, looking you up to see. Or they're just, like, talking about you in a group, and then they look you up. And that's why they become obsessed. Because they've seen your growth. They've seen you come from a long tough life to whatever is going on right now this growth this you finding yourself finding your purpose knowing yourself wow all right let's get into your tarot all right pile number two so we have the six of cups the six of coins the ten of cups we have the empress the three of coins we have the ace of cups the four of cups the queen of spears and the tower a lot of you guys are very independent. A lot of you guys have touched a lot of people's lives. You are very generous, very caring. 
you got have gotten a, an emotional response out of people and you also do have people envious of your emotional power like it's not even that you're emotionally manipulative it's just that people immediately like submit to you immediately want to please you I'm not sure you know it could be your looks it could be your energy it could be all of the above and then some but um people want to make you happy and people become obsessed with figuring out how they want to dissect you people want to dissect you want to know how you're this empress what it took to get there and they become obsessed also because like they just want to live like you be treated like you they want to be put on a pedestal they want to be abundant they want people to be excited to see them and and motivated to work for them and give to them and stuff you know and um a lot of you guys people become obsessed because they get shocked with the way that you look okay you guys have grown up you have transformed your looks from the people from your past and people from your past are confused because they don't know how you look the way that you look now compared to um the way that you did some of you guys you were going through a lot of trauma and stuff back in the day so you know we energetically you were storing a lot and um some of you guys, you know, you had a lot of health issues. There's big emphasis on, again, similar to another pile, you have done healing and your healing is reflecting into your looks, but also you've just gone through a glow up. Maybe you're, you're finally like, you know, you know how sometimes people are uglier when they're younger and then they grow into their features and shit like that, you know? It's like that kind of vibe. You grew into it, you're stepping into your prime and they're obsessed with that journey they're obsessed with your looks um you have people from your past uh past lovers who are obsessed with you because you got better like you just keep getting better and they were like i was already obsessed with you but now i see that you look even better <laughs> Like, it's shocking. They're like, I didn't think that Pal 2 could look better. How the fuck are they doing this, you know? And, um, a lot of people from your past are talking, um, about you because you walked away or you're very independent and, you know, I'm not saying that you're not cordial because you are cordial, but, like, you let go of a lot of things and situations and people. You have even coworkers obsessed with you because maybe the way that you went out, I heard some of y'all went out with a bang and was like, yeah, I'm going to start my own business or like, nah, fuck this, I'm out. And you may have quit your job and people didn't think that you was going to be okay. And you are okay. You know, like you're perfectly fine. You're building your own foundation. Moral of the story is you're happy, you're abundant. Things are working out for you okay you're in a very powerful energy your ships are coming in and i feel like your cup is overflowing and it's just because people are just shocked because you were definitely like i said before you were going through a lot when you were i was gonna say younger or just like throughout the years you you overcame and left a lot of toxicity maybe you have done a lot of healing and improvement and you have become a better person okay maybe you were the toxic one either way everyone was toxic in the beginning we had to unlearn this shit and um you know you have healed and you are becoming your true authentic self and you are really becoming more caring compassionate and nurturing to not only yourself but to everyone around you and you could be a business owner um you could just be extremely abundant extremely lucky things just work out for you you're building some type of foundation you're doing uh what you love to make money money comes to you easy there's something about that and people are obsessed with that because they want to they it's like they want to know how to hug how, how also you do have a lot of people old lovers and stuff who talk about you and maybe their person is like why are you still looking at this person's uh instagram why do you still follow your ex and you know 444 you um ignite some type of jealousy because you have people who are probably in relationships still obsessing over you still stalking you even though they're in a whole full-blown relationship <laughs> their partner's like what the fuck bro like why are you still they're like i just want to know I'm, I'm gonna keep that door open you know what i'm saying like you got people still keeping that door open with you still checking in on you they're obsessed because they want to know if they can come back they want to know if they give you an offer if they talk to you 
uh, if they offer you a position, if they offer you something, will you come back? Like some of y'all, you have your old job obsessed with you, old bosses, because they, they were like, <laughs> you're the best I ever had. So that you were like the best worker, you held shit down and they want you back pretty much. They're like, um, that was my best person. This was the best person. You are the, the number, number one for a lot of people, pal, too. Like, you, people from your past are obsessed with you because you were the best. You gave them love, unconditional love, okay? We have a lot of love here, emotional feelings. You know what really matters is, like, how you feel and also how you make people feel, not what you can give them. I mean, yeah, you can give them things to make them feel good, but you guys didn't need to do that. You gave them love, you gave them emotional feeling, happiness, joy, fulfillment, laughter, excitement. You know, you made them feel enthusiastic about life again. And when you went away, you took that light away, and then they become obsessed with chasing that feeling, comparing, trying to get people, like, especially past lovers, they might try to even get people who look like you, or, or act like you, sound like you, and thinking that that'll be good enough to replace you, but you're irreplaceable, pile too. That's what we're gonna call it. I love you. I hope you have an amazing day, night, or whatever, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye. What's going on, pile number three? Pile number one and two were very interesting. Kind of similar, but not really. But people definitely love the shit out of pile number one and pile two. And I'm sure they probably love you too. So, if you're new here, hit that subscribe and Z bell so you get notified when I post some new stuff. If it resonates, give me a little thumbs up and comment to let me know how or why. I do appreciate and love all the comments, all the likes, all the support. Thank you guys. Um... Keep in mind, thousands of people are watching, so not every message may be for you. Just take what resonates and leave the rest, okay? Don't let this message take from you. We're going to get your current energy to see if this is your pile. If this doesn't resonate, you can watch another pile, watch another reading, watch another reader, do whatever makes you happy. I bet. Let's get it! <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's so funny. Okay, pile number three is current energy. Tiki, 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 tiki. Ooh, self-love, self-care. Some of y'all need to do some self-love, self-care practices, okay? But there's this emphasis on, like, trusting the feelings, trusting the way your body feels, trusting that when you need rest, it's okay to rest, trusting that when you're ready to work, when you're feeling excited, feeling energized, that's your, that's your moment. That's when you need to take action. That's when you need to take that inspired action. Trusting that everything will be okay no matter what. Remove the doubts and the questions. You are ready to step into your blessings. Claim what's already yours, okay? Feel what you need to feel, okay? You have the right to feel happy. Even if people around you are unhappy, do not let their unhappiness bleed onto you, okay? Give them a band-aid, but allow them to process that shit on their own. Give less, less fucks, the less you give a fuck the happier you're, you will be you can't control other people's lives you can't make other people happy they have to do that for themselves and if you do make people happy it is temporary because once you leave their energy it's like they you're a band-aid and then it's like they you take the band-aid off when you leave you know so it's like what these people need to rediscover themselves and right now you are in the midst of rediscovering yourself and prioritizing yourself and you know you're not trying to please others because it says you are you hiding yourself to please others versions of you you're not giving a fuck anymore you're treating yourself like it says treat yourself and i was just talking about like self-love self-care treat yourself do you have faith that what is for you will be for you and it will come to you have faith that everything is going to work out even when you don't understand or know just trust that what is meant for you shall not pass you and trust that everyone who is around you and meant to be around you will stay and those who are not meant to be around you they will go but those who you know respect your boundaries respect yourself those who do not need you to put on a show or please others okay like you if you don't do this i'm not going to be your friend like okay accept that they're not meant to be in your life feel the sadness feel the upset feel whatever it is let it go so that you do not hold on to that negativity because you know 333 the feeling is the secret in regards to every aspect when feelings come they are our guidance system if you feel upset 
feel that shit, let it go, and then question yourself. You know, do some internal work. Why is this happening? What is this teaching me? Or what do I need to let go of in order to pivot and in order to remove this anger, okay? Also asking yourself, what do you really want out of life? What do you really want to do? Do you have any hobbies? Anything that would be a good constructive hobby? And what hobbies did you used to like as a child that you can start to do again? It's like you're reinventing yourself, pal three. And you're literally going to start to manifest a lot. And yeah, you may have had doubts, but you need to make sure that you let go of these doubts and give a lot of less Fs about pleasing others because you're giving away your power to the wrong people if you do that. They'll figure themselves out, okay? You can't let them drain your energy. You are not a band-aid, okay? Let these people, they need to heal themselves. You can't heal others, okay? So if that resonates at all, let's get into your reading. All right, pal three, we have architect, we have stargazing, we have creativity. Some of y'all definitely could have came from another pile. You guys give off this star energy. A lot of people focus on you because you put the focus on yourself. Because you're a free spirit, a free bird. You do what it is that you want. You cr live a creative life. You are your own architect. Okay. We have the architect. So obviously you're designing your own life. You're constructing your own life. And people feel that because you're a trailblazer and doing your own path, one, it's like weird to them. They're like, okay, well, I thought I had to go to college and then, you know, get a, my dream job and da da da. And some of y'all, I feel like you decided to take a, a different route instead of going to do that. Or like, you know, maybe you decided to become your own business or, you know, there's something maybe that you do that you, you're creative. You're creating something. Maybe you're an artist. Maybe you're a tattoo artist or maybe you do piercings or. You know, maybe you create, uh, maybe you're a nail tech or, you know, there's something about maybe you do makeup and stuff. You have a creative venture that one can make you a lot of money, uh, even doing things because again, we have the star energy, okay, on social media and stuff. You may even put your, uh, creative ventures, like, you know, how people like go live and stuff and, you know, they show them tattooing or go live and show them like doing a nail set or whatever. You could do that. And, um... <clears throat> It's very unconventional, but it works for you. You make a good amount of money. You do what you want. You go with the flow. You also always trust your intuition. A lot of people become obsessed with you because of your eyes, your face. Like, they love the way that you look, so they obsessively look at you. But also, the things that you put out into the world, especially for my content creators, people become obsessed with your work. Whether it's, like, the tattoos, you're a draw, you're an artist, you're a drawer. <laughs> what? Um, you know, some do want to copy you because with this creative cre creativity, it says steal your ideas, copies your work, duplicates you, feeds off of you. Like I'm saying, like people feed off of your energy. People feed off of the plans that you create. Some people want to steal your plans and steal your ideas. People become obsessed with you because they want to know, oh, what are you doing now? What are you working on now? A lot of you guys, you are either already private and mysterious because we have a full moon right there or you need to keep your moves quiet and not tell anybody until you have the product or whatever it is done and out there okay don't tell people your moves don't tell people what you want to create what you want to put out because there's people who want to copy you because they want to live like you you know even if they're not into tattoos and stuff they're like okay well <laughs> it's like them wanting to be a tattoo artist just because they see you making a lot of money but you're making a lot of money becoming uh being a tattoo artist because you do amazing work you've been doing this for a long time and you love what you do it's not about like, oh, the easy, it's like people think that this is, you took the easy way out, but it's like you found out what you love, you created a plan to do what you love full time. This was a strategic plan that took a while, okay, maybe you had to work a nine to five and then work on your creative ventures on the side. A lot of you guys, you were tired, you put in a lot of hours that no one saw, and now that's going to be revealed when these people try to copy your ideas and they realize that they can't do it. <laughs> Can nobody do it like you? Can nobody do it like you? Okay, they need to figure their own shit out. But that's why people are obsessed with you. <laughs> people are obsessed with like 
your life blueprint, your destiny. People are obsessed with what you're building. They see that you're creating a legacy and they're obsessed with like watching it. It's given keeping up with the Kardashians. You could also be extremely entertaining. Uh, you could be very vocal, very grounded, but there's something about people like you blossom when you talk in front of others. You're good with communication. You're very charismatic. You could be a fire sign. Um, you don't have to be or a water sign. So people feel that you're very empathetic. You're relatable. You're relatable, you're wise, you're intuitive, and you're um, charismatic, creative, and you ground people. You help people to become distracted from the pain. You're a light energy, and that's why people become obsessed with you. You bring magic into their life. You help them to become more free as well, okay? People feel seen by you. People feel respected. People feel loved, and uh, you treat everybody with love and respect. Obviously, you still have your boundaries, but I feel like you, you're you not mean. You're a very nice person, and you're honest, and you're blunt, but you're not vindictive and shit, and you're always trying to help people to the best of your ability. You do what you can, and, you know, you're creating your dream life, and people are very, um, like, focused on how they can get what's yours, Okay, and it's because they need to figure out how to, um, what they really want. Because if they're focused on themselves, they won't be envious of you. Um, and when I say focused on themselves, obviously these people do need to do healing. Because again, with the star energy, star represents healing. You do have this healing energy with, with people becoming obsessed with the fact that you heal them in some way. You make them feel better. You could um, attract a lot of energy vampires or just people who feel like really good around you again and um you know you're also a leader and people become obsessed with you because you have this like powerful energy it's giving boss be boss man you know they them it doesn't matter you have a really boss and assertive energy and because you're very assertive you're very open very outspoken you say and do things that a lot of people don't do. I heard that you're not really what's deemed normal. You are a very unique individual and people become obsessed with what they don't understand or what's just not the, the usual, okay? Because you don't uh, do things um, the way that everyone else does it. I'm hearing a song. I think it's by Trey Songs. It's like unusual not just unusual not your regular something unusual it is unusual it has to be him because he sings like that right okay let me stop <laughs> all right let's get into your tarot okay pile number three a lot of you guys because i was hearing you're all i ever wanted you're all I ever need. You're people's dream guy or gal. Looks, wits, wisdom, confidence, abundance. You're so lucky. Everyone loves you. Okay? You're emotionally mature. Okay? Like, you're everything that everyone wants. You have a lot of options in life. I feel like you do exciting things. You are a very experienced person. You have done a lot. You're not really a fear-based person. Some people become obsessed with your um, clothing, your attire, your glasses. Like you may be getting stylish glasses, stylish shades, your hair. There's something about your looks in regards to people become obsessed with it. They see that, you know, one, your authenticity. I... <laughs> We have the star, okay, and I was literally getting the star, so I knew the star was going to come out. But we also have the judgment, the hierophant. You're a big energy. That's what this is. You're a very big energy. You're extremely confident, and people want to know how you do it, okay? Maybe some of you guys were a little bit more negative. Maybe you were a li little bit more reserved, a little bit more shy, and now it's like you coming out, baby. <laughs> you showing out, and people are like, when did this happen? You also don't care about... Um, the judgment of people and people become obsessed with trying to get a rise out of you trying to trigger you because one they think it's not fair that you're unbothered that you're so nonchalant that you are focused on yourself and you're not worried about others and they think that that's not fair so they try to trigger you okay they also don't like the fact that they feel that they have to beg for your energy so they become obsessed with how they can get you to beg for them they become obsessed with trying to manipulate you you have certain people that are obsessed with you because they want to know how to manipulate you or control you or um 
get your destiny. Maleficent. Okay, we got the evil witch over here. <sighs> it's like people want you to eat that poisonous apple, bro. You got people trying to set you up and they become obsessed with trying to get a game plan. You have people trying to, that are obsessed with you because they want to infiltrate your, your friend group. They want to infiltrate your life. They want to befriend you. So there's somebody that, you know, could be wearing a mask. Okay. Could be wearing a mask and, um, they're going to give you so much accolades and like so much support and like they're going to look to you for wisdom. This is like somebody who maybe has read like the 48 laws of power or something like that because I know that that book is very dangerous because it's like it's giving people ammunition in order to manipulate people. And I know certain people know about things like that because of the fact that they had to learn about that for survival but it's about reading people not manipulating people these people are literally trying they think that you manipulate people so they want to figure out how you manipulate people in reality it's like you're not trying to control anybody to be honest you're really not worried about that shit some of you guys are an amazing boss if you are a boss you could be like a ceo or like a manager or something like that and people become obsessed with how you climb the ladder so easily or how do you always get so lucky a lot of people become obsessed with you because you have pretty privilege okay um you also have people who are in high demand or people who are deemed like a dream catch or you know you have people who want you that others want them and people become obsessed with you because they think if they can become like you then the people who want you that they want will want them instead they're like oh if i become a carbon copy of pal three then the person who's been i in pal three will want me instead <laughs> weird anyway hey you got some copycats baby copycats so yeah, um, you're a dreamy person and, you know, you, you've you accomplished a lot of the dreams that you set out to accomplish. I feel like a lot of you guys, you, you stand on business. Again, like I said in another pile, like, you do what you say you're going to do. You're a person of your word. And we have the Nine of Pentacles here and the King of Pentacles. People become obsessed with you because you got money. 444 whether they want to know how you got that money whether they want to steal that money whether they want to judge you because you have money now and da, da, da. notice how i said because you have money now so maybe there's people yeah there's people who who want to know like yeah there's people who want to know like how you've done it and they want to aspire to be like you because you're an inspiration but then you have others that kind of want to break down your boundaries or like, you know, like finesse you, you know, get you to invest in them. There's people who who feel like you have clout and stuff. And instead of like doing it themselves, like the way that you did, they expect a handout. So you do have people who who want you because or become obsessed with you because you have money. They want you because maybe they okay, a lot of people want you because you have money and because you look good and you're the whole package. Okay, we have the King of Cups, King of Coins and then the Queen of Wands. This is very much abundant boss energy. You're the star of the show with this star energy. You're extremely unique. You're fancy, I heard, and you take care of yourself. You're lucky things work out for you, even when people think that it's not going to work out for you, even when people are judging you. You do not give a shit when people talk shit about you, too. And that's why people become obsessed with, because they become obsessed with either talking shit about you to uh, get a rise out of you or talking shit about you because of the fact that they can get attention or energy from that. You know what I'm saying? And talking shit about you because they think that it's going to bring you down. When in reality, it really is not doing anything but harming them because people who talk shit about you, they get karma and they feed your agenda, whatever it is. They give you more money. <laughs> they give you more more success, more popularity, okay? You have a lot of people who have uh, your name in their mouth, pal three. And people are obsessed with talking about you because it's like they get, get, they get clout. You're a hot topic people get obsessed with talking about you because you're living your life for you you're not worried about judgment you do out-of-pocket shit sometimes you could say out-of-pocket shit i don't think you guys have a filter you could be extremely blunt and that's another reason okay with this queen of wands energy you might say shit and you might not even think <laughs> before you say shit you could be uh extremely honest but sometimes too brutally honest and maybe people become obsessed with like talking shit about that like 
Paul 3 always uh, got something to say, always this, always that. You could be extremely wise and you may give people advice and people feel like you're judging them because you're giving them advice. And that's another why, reason why people become obsessed with you as well. Okay, that's what we're going to call it. <laughs> I, but you have lovers obsessed with you too. A lot of lovers with the Seven of Cups and the King of Cups. Like people definitely want to be engaged, romantically connected to you. Okay, people become obsessed with um, the, the way you dress and stuff. But it's like they can get the same dress as you, the same outfit as you. But you are the one who makes you pull the outfit together okay they can wear the same it's like who wore it better you wore it better no matter what because it's like you just pull off things differently than others so they can copy you but they can't copy you so anyway i love you pal three i hope you have an amazing day night or whatever and i'll see you on the next one Ooh, bye What's going on, pal? For last but never least, it's your girl Drea, and this is Leal's Intuition. If you're new here, hit that subscribe and the bell so you get notified when I post some new stuff. And if it resonates, give me a little thumbs up. Let me know how or why in the comments. Okay. If you want to book a reading, my email is in the description box, but I will never message you for a reading, so please be aware of the scammers. And, um, what else? Oh. Keep in mind, thousands of people are watching. This is a general reading. Not every message may resonate. You know, just take what resonates and leave the rest, okay? Don't let these messages take from you. We are going to get your current energy to see if this is even your pile. And if this doesn't resonate, you know, you can watch another pile, watch another reading, watch another reader. Just do what makes you happy. All right. Yeah. Pile number four. Her express yourself ain't no way i said express yourself and then we got speak up <laughs> i love the confirmations i don't know what's going on okay wow every single one had four even though i was trying to get three all right beauty sleep okay um we have see the beauty interesting speak up live your dream Wow, you speaking up is going to manifest you living your dream, but also speaking your reality into existence, shifting your energy from speaking negatively about your current circumstances, but finding gratitude in where you are right now. You, where you are right now is where you wished you were before, okay? And, you know... Yeah, you are not exactly where you want to be, but this is a part of the journey. And, you know, you need to make this a journey and not, like, a final destination. Enjoy the train ride. Have you ever been on a train ride? Like, you know how beautiful it is? You forget about where you're going because you just see all these sights. Like, I love the train. I mean, I love planes, too, but the train, there's something about being there and like you see so much nature you see all these different cities and you know it's just it's beautiful and um i think that that's what needs to happen with you in regards to your goals okay you want to you have a specific um goal in mind for your life or you have a vision right you want to be financially free. You want to live in, be living your purpose, etc., etc. It says no, never get give, give up. Okay, so you will live your dreams. Okay, but you need to learn to find the beauty in everything you see in the world right now. All of its aspects, aspects. Okay. She says shift your focus away from material and develop a healthy inner world. Your inner reality dictates your outer reality okay as above so below as within so without that is one thing that i've seen and it is true based off of my experience and the experience of others who have told me about this as well so there's this emphasis on you know one if something's triggering you speak about it let it go so that you can move on and just Focus on what really matters or focus on being happy, okay? You deserve peace. You deserve to rest. You deserve to be happy and you will. But there is something that you need to speak up about. Let's get so we can tap in. What's to speak up? What do you need to speak up about? Wow, okay. So it could be a mother. It doesn't have to be 
but there's this emphasis on mothering yourself and maybe speaking up is saying no maybe you need to say no to people so that you can mother yourself prioritize yourself give to yourself and sleep and rest okay a lot of you guys you may be over giving or working too hard and not focusing on or enjoying your life okay because you're so focused on the destination instead of enjoying the journey so if that resonates at all let's get into your reading all right the way people become obsessed with you <laughs> pun number four is like the way that like people have like a celebrity crush you are everyone's celebrity crush without being a celebrity crush okay we have lover we have come together and then we have romantic love affair <laughs> y'all definitely could have come from another pile but this is pretty much emphasis on like people you come obsessed with you because you already have people obsessed with you anyone who has experienced you becomes becomes obsessed with you whether you worked with them whether you were a, a friend group or you were an acquaintance to a friend group whether they met you at a party an event whether they met you through school whether they it's like i don't know who you are pop for anyone you've dated my god also this is random but people who like were dating um it could even be like friends exes um friends who like you don't talk to anymore their person could be like obsessed with you weird energy but yeah you also have people who are obsessed with you because they romanticize you they love you people in general not just romantic but yes definitely romantic for a lot of you guys you have a lot of people who have a crush on you or who just find you extremely enticing people who see a future with you people who want to come together with you to work with you people who feel like you would be a, an essential asset in their life whether it's like they own a business and they want to collaborate with you whether they're a social media um influencer and they feel like they want to collaborate with you i don't know why i said that but some of you could be um influencers whether they're a boss or a ceo and they've saw you in some way shape or form or they heard really good things about you because people are obsessed with talking about you as well in regards to like there's this infinite obsessive energy because you continue to become better but you also bring out the best in people you bring people together you are the life of the party um some people become obsessed with the way you walk uh your dance um there's a lot of sexual energy it, 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 it's it's giving passionate okay oh, fatal attraction <laughs> like someone can see you and they're already fantasizing about you it's like say you go to uh the store and you walk by this person they see you and you're exactly the type that they feel they would love in the bedroom and they look at you and they feel like you would be ex extremely fun okay some of you guys, you have an enticing, uh, very handsome or beautiful, attractive energy. You have a lot of sexual energy. You look like freaks, okay? <laughs> mm. Again, I do get this energy in some of, some of my piles. People over-sexualize this pile. <clears throat> and because they over-sexualize it, because... Um, your fantasy for a lot of people there could be something in regards to some people have fetishes with you um maybe it's your ethnicity maybe it's your hair maybe it's your body type maybe people feel like they want to reproduce with you because you have features that they would want their kids to have they become obsessed with that like somebody wants to get you pregnant or wants to get pregnant by you powerful <laughs> and it's a secret because we do have um secret lover but there's even people who are the same sex as you who would love to have sex with you um and they might not even be gay okay and i'm not saying that you're gay you could be you don't have to be but it doesn't matter you have same sex the people of the same sex who want to have sex with you you may even have people who are gay and, and like let's say you're straight male you may have gay um women like say like yo i would <laughs> You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I I turn back, like you know, like that kind of vibe. You are probably a very good blend of masculine and feminine energy. Wow. <laughs> but yeah, you ground people. You make people. There's something about like your skin, um, your tattoos your skin tone your body it's like people like you could have baby making hips you could have a six-pack ab you could have a big nice chest 
you're just really attractive okay you're extremely attractive and it's not only that but it's like the sexual energy and there's love here too and there's also just a lot of fantasy like i don't know why people fantasize about you but maybe you have an ethereal look an angelic look and um, there's also this emphasis on, like, you're unobtainable. So people, like, maybe, let's say you're in a relationship, okay? Romantic love affair. People be, or people, it's like either you're in a relationship or people in a relationship. So they obsess about an affair with you. Like, what it would be like and how it would feel to have an affair with you or how it would feel to make love to you. And people who you've made love with, they're always going to be obsessed with you. Until the day they die, okay? Like, they will become obsessed with you. They will continuously hit you up because they want to come back <laughs> they want to you know what I'm saying get it in with you again because there's this emphasis on like you guys are very very good in bed you could be a fire sign you could have Scorpio or you know some Taurus like you are definitely a freak in the sheets you could be a fire sign did I say fire sign uh, cancer too Virgos are freaks as well anyway let's get into um your tarot all right pile number four you're in your own world you go to the beat of your own drum you do not do what anybody tells you to do okay you could be extremely stubborn extremely hard-headed and you live your life on your own means on your own time wow <laughs> hold on mm. the way you live your life shocks people Okay, you have moved away from turbulent times. You have moved away from tough times. <clears throat> your past, people are obsessed with your past because they don't understand how you got to where you are coming from where you were and how you did it so fast, quotation marks. It only seems fast to them because they're not doing the work. Okay, but it is what it is. You guys are trying. You're doing your best. And yeah, you might get setbacks but you always come through and make it through you guys heal we have two cards of healing and very similar because i had the six of swords and the four of swords in another pile so a lot of these cards i had in another pile this is different energy but it's you could have came from that pile okay you are not afraid to break things down and people become obsessed with the fact of, that you are extremely fearless and like <clears throat> how you get things done by yourself and how do you do it so quickly how do you have time to rest? How, how do you have to, some of you guys are parents and they're like, we have the same 24 hours. Like, how do you get so much shit done? It's given like, you know how a regular person who works nine to five and stuff like that. And then it's like, you have like a billionaire, like, <laughs> um, how do I say this? Like a billionaire's like morning routine and shit. Like by the time it's like 12 PM, you pretty much cracked out everything that you needed to do. It's like you have priorities. You get shit done, especially if you 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 have kids and stuff. It's like people are obsessed with you because they're like, how does this person? Cuz some people who have kids, they cannot handle like they don't know how to create a life outside of kids. Like it's like, cuz that's hard, okay? To have kids and to work and stuff and and to clean and and to do all this, you know what I'm saying? But some people make it look easy, but it's because they prioritize. You are able to be very present, very productive. You can get a lot of stuff done very quickly. Okay. Some people um, become obsessed with you because of like you could give off like, um, let's say you're in a relationship. You could be like one of those like um, influencer couples and stuff. Like you're a dream couple, so people like loved what you post maybe people love what you post you could be very funny you could just post really good content and i'm not saying you're a content creator but like whatever you post on your story you guys are funny and people become obsessed with that because you make people feel good you bring people laughter or excitement there's something about your personality that people do enjoy your perspective on life too is also why people become obsessed because you again there's this emphasis on like you are a paradox and you are extremely unique in terms of your belief systems okay you may have come from a very strict background and now it's like <laughs> i rebel <laughs> okay you do your own thing nobody can tell you what to do or how to live your life and people become obsessed with that like because they're like wow 
about for like they stick it to the man or they're doing their own thing you know what i'm saying i wish i could be like pile four but in the most in the best way like this is not very envious like people actually really wish like especially if you're a mother or father like they wish that they could like be as good a parent and still like work because we have the ten of pentacles but we also have the nine of pentacles like so you have built a foundation okay some of you guys people are obsessed with you because you're single and because they want you okay <laughs> also because they're shocked that you're single people don't understand how you're single they want to know like why you're single or like what is possessing you to be single when you're like very attractive with this nine of pentacles energy <clears throat> And people know that a lot of people love you, but it's giving like people are intimidated by you. So people are obsessed because they know, again, I'm pretty sure I said this, like obsessed with what they can't have. You're but a fantasy and um, people become obsessed with that. Like it pisses people off. You guys, you are the dangerous ones because there was another dangerous one, but that was more of like people who want to be like them. For you guys, it's dangerous. Like, you could have stalkers pile for. Like, you could have people who obsessively watch you. Now I'm seeing this guy who posts on TikTok. <laughs> He's mad funny. And it, uh, the girl obviously knows him. It's fake. But um, he's like, of course we we go on hikes together. Like, you know, we're, we're lovers or we're a couple. Of course we go on hikes. And it's like him. He's videotaping her. And all you hear is his breath like <sighs> watching her run. She's sitting on the bench. She took her shoe off for two seconds. He comes up behind her, grabs her shoe and sniffs it and runs away. He's so weird. He became her Uber one time. It's always the breathing heavy. Like, it's like... Now it's like Holga Pataki, like the way she was obsessed with Arnold, football head. You know, if you watch that show, <laughs> she would be, she had like an altar for him in the corner of her room or her closet and shit. And she would like look at his picture and be like, football head. Like that's the kind of obsession that people have with him for. Oh my God. And then you have the other guy who comes up breathing behind her like, and then she would just punch him in the face you're like Shh. it's like they're obsessed with you and when people make fun of this obsession they get like kind of violent or like vindictive or angry because one they're mad because they can't have you and then that's triggering them like, yeah you're so obsessed with pile four and then they're like fuck you like you know they get pissed because it's like they know they're obsessed with you they don't know why they're obsessed with you um they know that they're low-key a little creepy some of them embrace it okay you do have some creeps out there it's given like they they like to like stalk everything like they if they could find out where you live you may even have neighbors obsessed with you and shit like that like i don't know people who are like seeing you in the neighborhood they're like yeah they walk this same trail every day and they like try to get there at the same time to make it like it's like they want to set up like again like so that they can meet you like oh let me pick them up in the uber or drop something off at their house or like you like asking people about you like why are you so obsessed with them like no nah, nothing i just like them or whatever but in reality they they're like kind of like low-key creepily obsessed so please be careful anyway <clears throat> people become obsessed with you too because you have a, a very charismatic or healing or very um attractive voice okay some of y'all it's very deep could be high-pitched very unique you could even have an accent you know how people like love like certain accents around the world and stuff um, and people become obsessed with people who have accents like, oh, I never got a British accent or an Australian accent or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Maybe people also become obsessed with you because you speak another language and that really turns them on because they're like, speak Spanish to me. And they're like, oh, I love it when you speak Spanish. Like, I don't know. There's something about like you do something or your authentic, like your ethnicity or your auth authenticity. It like gets people aroused. It gets people off. Like that's like you're their type. That's my type. That's my type. That's what we're going to call it. Because that took a turn. Pile number four. I hope you have an amazing day, night, or whatever. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye.